Yeah, there's a great setup in Sheffield. That's called the EIS, uh, Mr. Bean. It is for GB team fighters, that is amateurs. It is not for professional boxers. Alright? Now, what I've noticed lately is we have a lot of matchroom fighters up there, like Anthony Joshua, and then fighters that Anthony Joshua manages, like Lawrence Coley. Joshua Boatze, they're all up there using the facilities for, for amateur fighters in the GB team. And why is that? It's because it's Joshua, isn't it? McCracken's the director up there, but Joshua, he's the golden boy trained by McCracken. So Joshua's going to, of course, he's going to get the nod, isn't he, to take fighters that he manages up there so they can train there now. That is for amateur fighters just to let you know mr bean you're getting carried away there you're talking about the eis a multi-million pound place up there facilities you're talking about it like it is robert mccracken's gym no it is not robert mccracken's gym it is funded by the lottery robert mccracken is an employee up there for amateur boxers all right just pointing that out mr bean keep on trucking Know, maybe it's just the positivity that I put up in. I'm excited because I'm excited for this new chapter in his life. I feel like there's a lot of weight off his shoulders now. Larry, why have we just in there? Well, one of the great shocks, you know, obviously Andy Ruiz's selection as an opponent. I mean, he can't be wise after the event. We knew he had fast hands, we knew he could punch. Technically that is true, but Barry Hearn has only had one world champion from debut, that is Herbie Hyde. The other 30 odd world champions were all what he pinched off other promoters. Now Eddie Hearn has had four world champions from debut. Anthony Joshua from Team GB, Callum Smith from Team GB, Cal Yafai from Team GB and Charlie Edwards from Team GB. Do you see a pattern? 
Hey, do you see a pattern 